Hello and welcome to our Gold Learning viewers. I'm Fiona Lang Sharp, IBCLC Director of Communications here at Gold Learning. Well, it is my absolute pleasure to be sitting down with Catherine Watson. Jenna, today, welcome, Kathy. It's so good to have you back at Gold. Hi, Fiona. Great to talk to you, too, and really nice to be back to Gold. Thanks for inviting me. That's right. And Kathy is going to be back here speaking at our Gold Learning Online Symposium all about tongue tie. It's so exciting. It's coming up really soon on September 17th. You will be able to listen live on the day and also it's going to be recorded so you'll be able to listen offline. So if you can't make it for the live date, uh, you'll be able to listen to the recording. But you can go to the website right now at goldlearning.com and register for this incredible event. Okay, Kathy. Let's jump right into it because I want you to introduce yourself to the audience once again. Tell them a little bit about yourself, where perhaps where you are in the world, and, and what you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis. Hi, I'm Catherine Watson Jenna. I'm a board-certified lactation consultant in IBCLC um, for 26 years. And um, I work with moms and babies that have medical challenges, and I do research, and I lecture, and I write. Uh, basically cobble together a living, but it's way more exciting and interesting that way to get to do a whole lot of things. Um, right now, our research is really exciting. We're using ultrasound to look at various sucking and swallowing issues in babies and starting to do adults as well for swallowing. Um, and uh, I'm so excited to be able to do this, this research uh, we're, we're seeing some things that haven't been seen before. We have this lovely objective analysis, uh, and we have a dedicated grad student. Wow. She is wonderful, <laughs> and she's a biomedical engineering master's student, and she is going to analyze our data as her master's project. So I'm so excited about that. Well, that's incredible. So you're pretty busy then um, doing the research and you're still working and doing all the other things, speaking around the world, of course. So that's that's keeping you on your toes. Lots of juggling. You know, I'm always afraid I'm going to let those balls crash to the ground. <laughs> well, I, I've known you for a few years, Kathy, and I, I, you are always so good at sharing information. I think one of the best educators out there to date that I've met. So thank you so much for always contributing and being willing to uh, step out and juggle so many balls because for the rest of us listening in, we're, we're learning all the time from you. You know what? We learn from each other. We're a baby profession. And if we, True. you know, we each have a piece of the puzzle and we, when we put it together, it's so powerful. I, I really appreciate your contribution in this area, having wow. this conference that's international and where many, many people can come together and share what we know. Oh, that's wonderful. And you're right. It's great that we, I love the analogy that we are part of, all part of a piece of that, a part of the puzzle and get it all out. Um, and it is exciting that we can all contribute in different ways. There's value for each and every one of us. Kathy, I want to ask you a little bit more about this research. Um, so what really led you into this? Because this is really interesting. It's not something that I have seen uh, studied yet or th there's been I think little bits but how did you sort of get drawn to this and and determine that this was something that you wanted to focus on um, I saw Lori Jacobs Lorelai Jacobs she's a, an Australian and she actually started the studies that Donna Geddes has continued through the years right. uh, she was looking at both normal sucking and sucking before and after phrenotomy in tongue-tied babies. And I saw some of her videos online and contacted her, and she actually gave me the information on how she did the ultrasounds. Um, so Dr. Betty Carillis, uh, who was an amazing pediatric surgeon, IBCLC sports medicine doc, this woman had more board certifications than you could list on two lines on a business card. Uh, wow. We were working together, and she was doing phrenotomies for babies in my practice who needed them, and we were getting a lot of pushback. And right. anytime people are criticizing what you're doing, you start to think, well, what if I'm wrong? And I think that that's the responsible thing, not to go into a defensive position, but to think, all right, well, you know, maybe I'm not right here, and, and I should really find a way to look at this. 
So we set up an ultrasound study at Winthrop University Hospital um, here in New York on Long Island. And uh, we could see definite changes before and after the phrenotomy in the way the baby sucked. But we didn't have a really objective way to analyze it. So, um, you know, I showed these videos at conferences, but I wasn't comfortable publishing until we had a way to, to analyze. So I spent years measuring things with different uh, screen tools, screen calipers, and screen protractors, um, and could not come up with something reproducible and very objective. So fast forward years later, um, and Dr. Al Botzer in Israel um, put me together with uh, Dr. David Alad, who's a biomedical engineer and a specialist in peristalsis throughout the human body. Right. We think of peristalsis in the gut, but it's also in the fallopian tubes and the seminal vesicles and the lungs um, and urinary tract. Uh, so he he's the perfect person. And Dr. Andrew Francis Lane at um, Columbia University, he's a, a imaging um, specialist. Um, he's also a biomedical engineering professor. And he figures out how to get objective data out of biomedical in images. So this made a really awesome team. And they, they published on normal suck and found that uh, the front of the tongue moves up and down during sucking with the jaw, but the back of the tongue continues the movement of the front of the tongue in a peristaltic-like motion. And this this is very exciting. So uh, Dr. Lane, Dr. Alad, and I have been working together for the last five years on trying to set up a, a fairly decent scale study looking at tongue-tied babies, looking at babies with right. other kinds of feeding problems, looking at bottles, looking at breast, um, and then looking at adult swallowing as well. So we've been having a really good time uh, using their objective analysis to look at what's really happening in the baby's mouth when they're tongue-tied and what, what happens after it's treated. Wow. I, it certainly sounds like you've been building on this for a few years, got the team together, the right people are at the right time, and um, and this is it's very exciting to hear that this is uh, this is coming up. Yeah, the one frustrating thing is that we need we need uh, s uh, some grant money for another yeah. machine. Right, right now, the machine is at, um, at Dr. Scott Siegel's office. Right. And I can only use it when it's convenient for him, and it takes a lot of coordination. So right, we, right. we're trying to get some grant money to get one that I can just drag around, and uh, then I can help a lot more moms as well as sure. you know, get a lot more data. Yeah, absolutely. Because the and that collection is going to be so important to you. Well, we'll uh, hope that that comes to fruition really, really soon. So. Just fascinating hearing that, and I hope you'll keep us updated here, um, you know, as you work through all of this. Um, but in the meantime, we're going to be, uh, of course, having you here for our live day for a tongue tie symposium, talking about breastfeeding strategies for the tongue tied infant. So I want to take a little look at that particular presentation. This is of a, a lot. There's a lot of interest in this area right now, of course, uh, Kathy, and this particular subject matter that you're going to be talking about. I've had an opportunity to sort of look at it a little bit, but it. it this is something that's coming up a lot. So why don't you share with our audience listening in what you're really excited about sharing and uh, what you're hoping that they'll take away from it. Okay, well, uh, this this year in this special gold uh, presentation, I'm going to be talking about how we can help babies when their parents can access phrenotomy or when the parents don't feel that's the right thing for their child. Um, I know other speakers are going to be talking about phrenotomy and about some of the uh, post-op work, and I'm very much looking forward to hearing everyone's presentation. But mine is going to focus on how do we nitty-gritty help the breastfeeding when we have a tongue tie and it hasn't been treated or can't be treated or won't be treated. Perfect. Well, this is certainly something I think is really going to support um, 
IBCLCs, lactation consultants, and people working in the field with families, because this is something that's coming up a lot, and we need a lot of support, and we need to be able to support our families. So thank you for taking on the challenge of putting this presentation together, and of course, again, uh, being part of this uh, great uh, symposium here that's going to be coming up live on September 17th. And you might be wondering why come live? Well, uh, it gives you an opportunity to engage with the other delegates that are also going to be here. And they're people just like you um, who have a keen interest, of course, in tongue, tongue-tied infants. Um, it'll also give you an opportunity to chat with the speakers live. So we'll have a live event going on during the presentation where you'll be able to ask questions. And then right after the presentation, we'll actually have a live Q&A with uh, Kathy as well and all the other speakers. So just keep that in mind if you're listening in and wondering uh, if you need to do some scheduling around the 17th. I promise you it will be worthwhile because um, we're going to have uh, not only a, an opportunity to learn and grow together, but just a great time as well doing that. So thank you again. And thanks to Kathy for being with me here today and chatting about this. I'm looking forward to it, Fiona. Exciting. Well, thanks again, everyone, uh, for joining us here today. Bye-bye for now, everyone.